Hello? Hello, is this Aaron? It is. Hi, Aaron. This is Paul, Outsider Tackle Box radio show and podcast. We have Tommy in the studio. Hey, what's going on, Aaron? How you doing? Good. How you guys doing? We're doing good. I'm okay. I, I, I could have, you know, followed up on my New Year's resolution, which, which was to work less with this guy next to me, but mm, didn't happen. He's just <laughs> upset because he didn't. Uh, he was supposed to be on a diet, but he he oh, lasted I failed the first all day. in like of an hour. I I didn't even last that long. It was a thought that counts. You and me both. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're like, oh, you know, New Year's resolution. I'm gonna lose weight. Hey, we got tamales over here. Heading your way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me some of that. Well, welcome to the show. The idea behind the radio show and podcast is to spread happiness to the world through the joys of fishing. And uh, we feel like the fish photos and the story just, they do just that. And so thank you very much for sending Absolutely. in the, your photos. And it looks like you are a kayak angler. So we love to hear kayak stories. And uh, we want to hear where you caught the fish. Uh, the bait you were using and um, the size and it looks like you actually have a way to measure it you got that one on the boat so or on the kayak absolutely so yeah, absolutely this is your podcast take it away Aaron oh wow um uh, well let's see here I am I live in Utah and I do kayak fishing here in Utah with um kayak fishing Utah is my club Nice. And oh, cool. through the club, the owner, of, yeah, the owner of Kayak Fishing Idaho actually came down and fished one of our tournaments, and we met, and we are now dating. So yeah, he has go. invited me up to, yeah, he has invited me up to some of their tournaments up north, and I went up there. We went to the river system is Black, I believe it's called Black Canyon, and it feeds into the Snake River. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Snake River is an amazing fishery. It actually holds majority of it is smallmouth, okay. and but that is obviously not not what's Fun. in the picture that I sent you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when we fish tournaments together, we typically like to fish somewhat close together, at least the majority of it. I like to beat him, so sometimes I'll go off on my own. Uh-huh. But uh, this particular tournament, I did not get a chance to pre-fish, so he said, "Follow me. I know this." little pond that's off of the off the river system and it's supposed to hold huge large mouth i'm not kidding you i have a pedal drive kayak by the way uh-huh. and so you use your feet instead of the paddle yeah and we pedaled for almost two freaking hours oh, off wow. the river and the river was so low we were in like two inches of water at some point had to get out and oh. actually physically move the kayak it was october it was, i think it was like 32 degrees out it was freezing I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not. I'm so, not gonna lie to you, Aaron. I would have given up at the thought of it. Yeah, Tommy doesn't <laughs> last very long. Like when we go fishing, we have to find the spot that we're gonna fish. Like it needs to be there in front of you. Yeah, because that's where I'm not. I'm not hiking there. He's not gonna walk. He's not gonna go on the boat. I mean, if it's a motorized boat, yeah. I'll do it. We'll, we'll, you know, we, that's about as <laughs> In, any, far as we're If I have go. to do any physical activity, I'm going to opt out of it. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to see if there's an option B. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, Aaron. I just had to I just had to stake my claim on that. Well, one. I was there too when she said that she had a paddle for two hours. I thought we'll never. I already gave up. We'll the never st- fish there yeah. together. <laughs> like, I'll probably go there and fish. But Tommy will be wherever we park. Dude, I was with her until she said, "Oh, we paddled for like two, we paddled for like two hours." I was like, "Oh, <laughs> or pick I'll me up on your way back." Well, Kirby kept my heads up. He kept saying, "We're almost there. We're almost there." <laughs> oh, see, yeah. he 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 was him. he was on. He's like, "Yeah, yeah, just a little bit more, a little bit more." <laughs> yeah, it's just around the corner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we could always tow. I could tow you. Yeah, you could tow. I could just we'll, we'll we'll attach you to my kayak. Look like a giant buoy in the back. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Aaron. Right? Yeah, let's Sorry. Get back to Had the water story. been higher, it wouldn't have been so bad. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, if the water would have been higher. It would have been nearly as bad. It was just the fact that sometimes my kayak isn't even moving with my weight on top of it. So I had to get out and literally push it. But oh man! So we finally get back there, and the tournament I think had twelve anglers in it, and at least six of us are back there. This mm-hmm. was a well-known spot. And, um, so I'm 
we're just messing around. One guy next to me catches a 19-inch um, large mouth, and he's he's a stoke. That's his personal best, and he's wow. hooting and hollering. I'm not catching anything. I think I'm using a drop shot minnow at this point, and I decided to change it up. Something I've never done. Um, I work with Maniac Custom Lures, and they are the only soft bait that I typically use. Mm-hmm. And so I put on a one of their um, salt sticks on a wacky rig, wacky mm-hmm. rig with a drop shot, actually. And I threw it in there, and I'm just kind of jigging it, and I just feel a thud. I'm like, oh, I'm on a log or a rock or yeah. stuck on something. And I pull, and it has a little give. And I'm like, oh, this is exciting. Yeah. And I start reeling it up, and, like, there is no movement to this thing. I'm thinking I'm going to reel up the stick. I'm thinking maybe I have a catfish. Maybe it's a carp. Like, yeah, just there's dead weight. no fight to it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I, I, I'm reeling, I'm reeling, and I look in the water, and there's this huge light-colored thing coming out. He's like, are there striping in this? Because it's so big. I was just really confused. <laughs> so I finally get it up. I net it. My hook pops out of its mouth. Oh. I don't know how I got it up without it actually being hooked. And uh, I think the first thing that came out of my mouth was, holy f <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've, I've dropped many of those. I'm screaming to Jeremy to come help me. What's that? I- I like that you censored yourself, Aaron. That is beautiful because I often have to uh, go back and listen to the podcast and then edit it out. And so you did it for me. So I'm so thankful. I love that you just said f bomb and because I don't have to. I don't really have to do anything to it. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> Yeah, I have sort of a sailor's mouth, so I gotta be careful. Uh, so you know what? We're, to be let, let's be completely honest. We're, we're anglers, anglers, yeah. Do. We all yeah. do. We all do. Yeah. Hence Absolutely. the editing. I curse at fish. I curse at people. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm the same way. Wow, Aaron, it's like we are besties. <laughs> I, I, I do the same thing everywhere I go, almost. Oh, it's too funny. Nine so, times out of oh, ten, goodness. it's the editing. <laughs> it's editing that somebody's yeah. oh, saying that. yeah <laughs> nah, nah, uh, you know what it happens yeah, yeah. that's the way i look at it so but yeah okay so <laughs> you, you netted the fish you were trying to scream for him to help you and you basically got a fish yeah. that w- that has my uh that has my kind of qualities where it just kind of got hooked and gave up so <laughs> that yeah, you know definitely. He, he was this just kind of zero fight to her yeah he he just got hooked he and he was like well i might as well <laughs> <laughs> I'm already here. <laughs> like, here I go again. <laughs> this is my day. Might yeah. as well go this way. <laughs> Might as well see who's on the other end of this thing. <laughs> Once in motion. <laughs> yeah. Once in motion, I'll just keep going that way. All right. Go ahead, Aaron. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does anybody else want to sing uh, Just Keep Swimming? Did that pump? That was that, just you. That, I'm sorry. Okay, that was right, just you on that one. I thought about it. Oh, see? See, she was with you. Okay. Fair enough. All right, continue, Aaron. You 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 netted the fish, and uh, yeah, yeah. So in our tournaments, we we use um, we call it CPR. It's catch, photo, release. Mm-hmm. Uh, we want to make sure we stay from release other fish that we catch. You know, if you grow bigger, and you can catch them again next year, right? Yeah. So yeah. I'm asking Jeremy's help for that because the fish is so big. I mm-hmm. want to make sure I don't lose her. And uh, not to mention, I, I needed proof that I caught this thing. I needed somebody else to see that. Yeah. <laughs> so I get it. I get her on my hog trough, which is the <coughs> measuring board that we use. Mm-hmm. And she was 22 inches. Mm. I, I left my scale in my truck, of course. So my best guess, the first thing that came to my head is she's seven pounds. Mm. Uh, I don't want to be one of those anglers who's like, oh, I just caught a 15 pounder, you know, and just, yeah, you got to put the fish really close to the camera to make it look huge. But, yeah. uh, so, you're, so you're not you're not doing the Paul trick. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say I love that. I yeah, just, see, it's, Paul it's does that a lot. Absolutely, what what makes it a fish story? Paul, Paul's the only guy I know that's caught like a twenty pound bluegill. So I mean, well, I, I call sturgeons oh. sharks, <laughs> and so I tell people you just I change the the species of fish. <laughs> totally, yeah, I caught a shark out in uh, Utah. <laughs> what? You could put a one pounder or like even smaller next to like a little figurine, and it looks like a giant fish. 
Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I agree. It's part of the fun. So Master of photography. We, yeah, we, exactly. We welcome uh, all fish stories, and so those make me happy. <laughs> well, let's get back to her yeah. story because we got excited with yeah. because you recognized I, I, that I, that was my that's story. That's exactly going what that you way. do. Yeah. Because I get to tell fish stories <laughs> often to different people, yeah. and they're just like, "Well, tell us some of the stories you've heard." It, and so my version of your fish story, Aaron, is going to be: I caught a fifteen-pound uh, fish. And Paul's one of those guys that when you talk to him, and he's like, "Oh, I caught this uh, big, huge bluegill or big, huge bass," and you're like, "No, you didn't." And he's like, "Oh." Well, I knew a guy that caught this big blue bat or this big huge bass. And you're like, no, you don't. I knew a guy. Yeah, and you're like, no, you don't. And he's like, can you imagine what it's like to pay? And it just keeps changing. And I'm a terrible liar. Like I have ear to ear smiles while I'm telling this. I know. Like it's just like you know it's not, but it's still part of like you. Well, you still have to hear. The you're story. already laughing and giggling like a. You're just giggling already. You're like, I got this huge shark, and I'm like, no, just stop. <laughs> okay, sorry, Aaron. It was a bluegill. Calm yeah, down. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was. A, it was. It, it was a bluegill that you caught, and it was tiny. So there you go. So anyway, all right, go ahead. <laughs> well, I mean, really, there's not much to it after that. Um, okay. It measured at 22 inches. Right after I um, got my picture, uh-huh. she flopped and she broke my hog trough. Oh man! So. I ended up having to buy a new measuring device after that. Um, oh, darn, you had to go food, You had to go shopping. What's that? I said, oh, darn, you had to buy more fishing stuff, right? <laughs> I know. Oh, jeez. Oh, how, how, how dare that happen? I actually yeah. ended up getting a catch for it. I don't know if you've ever seen those. These things are they're made like... So not like o- not only did you have to go get really, it, not like only five pounds. yeah, I was gonna say not only did you go get something, you were, you were trying to get something a little up. You were trying to upgrade it. It was an upgrade. Sounds like an upgrade. <laughs> it was definitely an upgrade. See, there you yeah. go. <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming yeah, I'm on the show. Not heartbroken. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Bittersweet. We love the fish story. Absolutely. And that's how you know it's a good one. And when Tommy and I go in there and we start repeating the story and tell it to. We bring you back to where we left off. Well, yeah, so we exactly. Were in it. We were in it. Yeah, totally. And and you know what I oh, what excellent. I what and I like love. me and my fifteen pound large mouth. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> and and you know what I, and what, I, what I love is when we can actually joke around in the story and and come right back to it and everything. Yes. I mean, it's just it's just awesome. Sure. I, I love it. I love it. When I tell it again, that uh, that that fish catch took her on a sleigh ride, and she had to follow that thing around. The oh yeah. Oh yeah, Snake River. <laughs> yeah, she finally got it up. I'm, I'm going to leave that. out the part though that she had to, you know, paddle for or pedal for two hours because that just makes me tired oh, thinking about it. That was horrible. Yeah, because then you got to pedal back. That's just re- well, we went down her by that time, so it wasn't nearly as bad. Okay, all right. Well, then there you go. So you just go with the current. Yeah, that, that's me. That's that's my Definitely. whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? It, it, well, hopefully, I'll have a better one for you in the future. We we don't have the fish like they do on your guys' well. I don't know where you guys are located, but we're in I'm Huntington fishing, Beach, uh, California. We're, we're in Southern California. Oh, okay. So we have uh, we have I areas. The Delta this year, last year, that was awesome. There you go. See, we we have areas like uh, yeah. like Castaic Lake and and uh, and different areas like that where we usually go, uh, you know, for big bass and stuff like that. So. But um, I think we're hitting Berryessa in, in February. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, well, I think we're hitting up Berryessa in February. There you oh, go. Okay. See, and 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 you know, any time mm-hmm. that you uh, you take photos and you you send them to the the group site or, or to to us in general, um, we'll we'll set up everything and get you back on the show. And yeah, please come back and, on the show and, and even tell uh, even tell your uh, your 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 man to join Hi. us. Yeah, and okay. welcome to come on the show, uh, <coughs> or if you want it to uh, or, or promote anybody your fishing on your group, group, yeah, um, you're well, you're welcome oh, to excellent. do that. You could tell people where to find your group. Uh, yeah. We have listeners all over the nation, and so if you want to, all over the nation, and well, we're worldwide technically. So yeah, we're, we're, we we even got people oh. out in, uh, in Europe that listen to you. So there, you, you may have an Irish person later on going, well, she's been out there catching fish. You know, I mean, it, it's I awesome. Like, I love it. I like the voice, Tommy. That was great. That was my best that I had this early in the morning. That was a good accent. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, definitely share it with your group. 
um, share your group with us, and and you know we just keep spreading you know spreading Spread the joys, spreading the, the happiness, the joys of fishing. That's what we're about. Please come back on the show. Continue to send us photos. Absolutely. We have an outsider fishing blog if you want to. Uh, if you're a writer as well, or just want to see your blog shared with uh, the outsider following, you're welcome to do that too. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, from all of us here at uh, Outsider Tackle Box, fish more. Tight lines, Aaron. Tight Have lines. a great Saturday, okay? Tight lines, gentlemen. I love what you're doing. Oh, we Thank love you. having you. You take care, okay? Take care. Bye bye. All right, thanks. You too.